Top 10 Parasites That Can Be Found Inside the Body Parasites These organisms are mostly small and unnoticeable, but some are visible in the naked eye. They live and get food mostly from their host. There are different types of parasites in the world. There are parasites in pets, plants, surroundings, and also to humans. There are around 75,000 to 300,000 species of parasites in the world. Some can harm the living like humans and pets, while some can live in harmony and serve as food to other species. Nobody wants to have these for they can also cause death. If you are wondering how long have they been living here with us, according to Egyptian records, they have encountered from 400 to 3000 BC and have been infecting Egyptians back then. Parasites were also documented in ancient Greece by the famous personalities like Aristotle and Hippocrates. Both of them worked in documenting the presence of several parasites in fish, animals, and humans. Globally, the parasitic diseases that kill many people are cystocercosis, cystic echinococcosis, ascariasis, schistomiasis, African trypanosomiasis, Chagas disease, emabiasis, cryptospiridiosis, leishmaniasis, and the leading malaria. But did you know that there are parasites inside our bodies? Most of us may not be feeling them, but they do exist. If you want to know more about this, make sure you won't switch channels and stay tuned. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell on the right side. In today's video, we hope that you can keep your appetite because our countdown will focus on the top 10 parasites that can be found inside the body. We will start our countdown with our number 10, with the hookworm. If you are feeling weak, experiencing abdominal pain, nausea, severe diarrhea or anemia, you might be having hookworms in your tummy. Although these parasitic nematode worms are naturally found inside a body, they can be transmitted if you unconsciously ate a contaminated food or drink from a contaminated water. When the larvae of hookworms or Nicator americanus successfully enters the body, they will attach themselves in the walls of our intestines and yes, that's why they are called hookworms. After being attached in the walls, they will start to suck the blood of their host, which will lead to a type of anemia called ankylostomiasis to its host. Yikes! If you don't want to have these, make sure you wash your hands and food before and after eating. Causing itch on number 9 is the scabies mite. Scabies mite, also known as Sarcoptes scabiae or hominis, whatever its name, no person in their right mind would love to have it. These parasites are being transferred by physical contact, for example, hugging, touching, shake hands, etc. Since they can only be seen under microscope, you don't know if you have or somebody has it until you discover sores, pus-filled nodules, skin irritation, and frequent itching. How is this possible? Well, the female mites love to lay their eggs in the human skin. They are too small, that is why we can't see them. Plus, the female mites bury their eggs under the skin so we can only feel them when they start to cause a reaction in the skin like itching and cause inflammation. We can guess that you just check your arms and legs and see if there are some itches in your skin. But don't worry, they will not stay in your skin if you will keep it clean and moisturized. Hatching on number 8 is the round worms. Did you know that these parasites can block our intestines? Just so you know, they are the largest type of nematodes or worms in the intestines that can affect our bodies. The round worms or Ascaris lumbricoides are also not natural residents in our intestines. They only get inside when we accidentally eat contaminated food or water. Once they get inside, the heat inside the intestines is the perfect temperature for the eggs to hatch quickly. After that, they will burrow in the intestine's wall and enter the bloodstreams, then to the lungs. Of course, it will trigger cough, so they will be moved to the guts. Sounds like a scary process, right? Do you want to know more scary? Well, 
they grow up to 15 to 35 centimeters. Yes, that long. If you are wondering what do people with roundworms feel in general, they are experiencing fever, vomiting, rashes, diarrhea, wheezing or coughing, allergic rashes, and nerve problems. See how dangerous they can be? Better check the food before you put it inside your mouth. Burrowing a number 7 is the flatworm blood fluke. The name says it all. These parasites live in contaminated waters. Unlike the previous worms presented, they do not enter the body by accidental ingestions. That's not good news if you thought they are safe. They burrow in the skin of their victims while they are soaking in the contaminated water. How come we don't see them? Well, first, they are small. Second, they start with their snail host. They're also known as Schizotosoma mansoni, S. hematobium, and S. japonicum. Once they enter through the skin, they can cause inflammation and damage the organs, especially the liver. How frightening! The small ones live in the bloodstream and cause schizotomiasis or bilharzia. The common symptoms that victims experience are aching body parts, severe diarrhea, swollen glands, lethargy, and fever. So be careful where you swim or you might have one of these parasites as a souvenir. Surviving a number six is the tapeworm or tinea solium. You might have heard of these news, especially the incident where a teenager decided to swallow a tapeworm in order to lose weight. That's a fact. They can cause weight loss, but extreme consequences will follow. These parasites are transmitted when we eat infected food like meat. Cattles or pigs pass these parasites to humans after they accidentally consume the worms who made their way to their food. They will then attach themselves to their host's intestine by hooking their head or scolex the same process when they enter our body. Then, you'll start to feel the symptoms like weight loss, diarrhea, malnutrition, vomiting, nausea, and inflammation of intestines. Just so you know, they can live up to 25 years inside the body. So imagine having this in your first year of wedding, you will only get rid of them when you reach your silver wedding anniversary. What a bad joke. Contaminating on number 5 is the Enamoeba histolytica. These deadly parasites are living in wet environments, contaminated water, and soil. You see, they can thrive in any weather condition and temperature. They are also called amoebiasis and are single-celled. They can infect humans, animals, fruit, and vegetation. It can cause death like malaria and victims experience symptoms like weight loss, feeling of weakness, diarrhea, liver abscess, and abdominal pain. Ouch! Resisting a number four is the Giarda lambia. Like other parasites, they live and reproduce in the intestines. This flagellated protozoan parasite can cause severe infection to the small intestine called giardiasis. When it moves to the guts of its host, it will cause inflammation and damage it. It will also reduce the ability of the guts in absorbing nutrition from the food intake and cause diarrhea. You will be shocked by its ability to resist treatment in water. This means these parasites can exist in our drinking water. Most of the victims are experiencing a series of burps that smell like rotten egg, noticeable weight loss, abdominal pain, nausea, and severe diarrhea. So again, not all waters are safe to drink. Invading on number 3 is the Toxoplasma gondii. These parasites are present in shape and mercilessly invades the central nervous system of the body. Most of us may have encountered these parasites, but since our antibodies are working well, they do not survive. However, those who are infected will have a weak immune system and are susceptible to other diseases. If a pregnant mother is infected by this parasite, the fetus will suffer a serious infection and can cause death. That is how merciless these parasites are. Anyone can get it if they eat slightly cooked meat, raw meat, or just handling feces of infected animals. 
If you want to know what victims feel after being infected, it will start with a severe headache, followed by fatigue, chills, fever, and symptoms of flu. Passing through our number two is the Wuxeria bancrofti. These parasites are carried by the mosquitoes. As the mosquito land in anyone's skin and suck blood, the parasites will then be released in the bloodstream of the host. They will soon become a larvae and move to the lymph nodes. They mostly affect and settle in the legs and genital areas. With almost a year, they can develop into an adult worm and cause elephantiasis, a condition where the leg of the host grows abnormally, giving a super swollen look. These parasites can also cause filariasis. If you are wondering how victims feel, not good I must say, for they will experience skin infection, fever, chills, thickened skin, severe swelling, and painful lymph nodes. So, before planning to go to a tropical place, invest in insect repellents and avoid wearing sleeveless if you don't want to take home of these. From number 10 to number 2, they have given us trust issues in the water that we drink and the food that we eat. They may be small in size, but they can cause big problems once they start inhibiting our body. But we are not done yet with our countdown, so here is our number one. Topping our countdown for today is the guinea worm. This parasite is transmitted inside the body once a person drinks stagnant water or contaminated water with water fleas or other parasites. You will not easily feel the symptoms, you will start feeling it after 10 to 14 months because only then the worm matures and literally move inside the body. Then a blister will develop in the skin and a worm will emerge and produce a burning sensation in the skin as more worms are trying to come out. Hearing this, you will pity those who are suffering from these parasites. Usually, it leads to a parasitic disease called dracunculiasis. Although it rarely causes death, the hosts will become non-functional for weeks. They will feel weak and sick. Most people who are affected by these parasites are those who mainly depend and are deprived of clean drinking water. Most of them drink in dirty ponds where these parasites are surfacing. Most of these parasites lived in contaminated water, the water that we need every day. Due to a lack of access to clean water in most areas in the world, these parasites thrive inside our bodies. None of us wants to have them, so it would be best if we pay close attention to everything that we put inside our mouth. Always sanitize and wash your hands before and after eating. Which of these parasites do you think is the creepiest to have? Or in your opinion, how can we fight these merciless parasites? Tell us in your comment section below. Who knows? You might help the communities in rural areas with your idea. This has been our countdown for the top 10 parasites that can be found inside a body. Join us again next time for more exciting and informative videos. Ciao!